Hola. What's up, everyone? This is QuickBooks for non-QuickBooks people, small business owners who just want to get stuff done. You've got QuickBooks problems, and I've got your solutions. Today's lesson is all about preferences for writing a check. This will come in really handy if you do a lot of check writing and you've got some frustrations with how the program is treating you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our check writing window and I do that with control and W. And I always like to maximize our screen here so we can use all of the space. So go ahead and maximize your window. And uh, oh, I'll try my best to um, be descriptive with my voice so you can follow along with your ears as you uh, use your own QuickBooks program um, to follow along with your mouse and keyboard. So go ahead and minimize this video and open up QuickBooks and uh, I'll guide you through through the, uh, the steps here. Okay, so um, we're writing checks and w there's a couple different options we can explore when, um, when we write our checks. And to do this I'm gonna go to the uh, edit drop down menu at the top menu bar I'm going to scroll all the way down here to preferences and I'm going to click on preferences to open up our company preferences window here and um, we've started out in the general menu on the left hand side you'll see there are all sorts of different um, categories here we can choose from so we're in the general category and remember there are for every um, category here for every preference there are my preferences the tab at the top and then there are company preferences so be sure to check both of those as you go through each of these categories and um, I'm glad we started with general that's a good place to start and the one, the one preference that we can change here for writing a check is down in the middle where it says automatically recall information and right now for mine I have the box checked that says automatically rem remember account or transaction information. And what this is going to do is if we're writing a check to the same vendor, QuickBooks will remember which expense account we've uh, we've designated for that vendor and it will pull it up for us. It's a good preference to have checked. It will save you a lot of time and and if you don't remember exactly where you put uh, of an expense from a vendor it's been a couple months this is a nice thing to have so that QuickBooks will say hey you didn't remember but I did this is where you put it use this account um, now these two options down here pre-fill accounts for vendor based on past entries is what I have selected or you can have automatic automatically recall last transaction for this name <clears throat> and the difference is that what I have selected is um, QuickBooks will say okay what account did you use the most and let's use that one where if you check automatically recall last transaction then um, QuickBooks will say okay whatever account you used last time I don't care how many times before you've used it we're gonna use that one um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uncheck this just to or I'll, actually I'm gonna leave it checked and I'm gonna go back to my check window just to show you how this works I'm gonna click OK to get out of there and now I'm back in my check window and I'm gonna write a check to Gary's landscaping and I've written a check to Gary's landscaping before and as soon as I hit tab to get out of the pay to the order field so I've got Gary's landscaping and look the account down here for our expenses has already been populated so QuickBooks says okay I remember you you've written a check here to repairs and maintenance before I'm gonna keep that that way for you and um, so you can you can just breeze right through that so okay if we go back to edit and preferences let's go back to that general category under my preferences and um, if we turn that off and hit OK and go back into the check let's delete Gary Oop. So if I go back into that check and I've unchecked remember and I hit Gary's landscaping again, look, it doesn't remember this account. So you can see why that's really valuable to have that preference checked. So I'm going to go back to edit and preferences 
and I'm going to keep this automatically remember account or transaction information checked and really this is up to you I say prefill accounts for vendor based on past entries just because that's the easiest and simplest way if you've got a vendor that is all over the place that does multiple things for you maybe they do landscaping maybe they do some contract accounting maybe they do weird uh, other weird things it's still best to have this prefill accounts for vendor based on past entries this other one is just going to lead to a little bit more confusion so I recommend to keep this this checked the way this is okay the next category on the left we can go to is the checking category um, and this is where you can set preferences for when you first start writing a check where do you want to write a check from and I like to use this if you if you're writing a lot of checks and and you maybe you've got um, more than one bank account you've got a couple checking accounts maybe you've got a payroll checking account you've got a general checking account um, and if we're under the my preferences tab you can select the default accounts to use when certain criteria are met so the first option here is open the right checks so if I click this whenever I open the right checks window I can choose which account I want it to, to start with and yeah that's right I want it to start with Chase checking I only have one checking account so I can I can check that now if I pay bills from a different account then I could check this open the pay bills the next one down here and maybe I pay bills from my savings account or another checking account sales tax make deposits so all of these here can help save you time by using a default account for when you want to write a check or uh, make a deposit I'm gonna uncheck these I don't need them since I only have one che uh, checking account um, and let's go over here to the company preferences tab the other tab on the checking category and this is where we get a lot more preferences for for writing a check so the first one you'll notice is print account names on voucher what what does that mean and that means that when you print a check if you're not printing checks from QuickBooks you can just ignore this but if you print a check from QuickBooks it will give you the account name on that voucher portion which is the um, which is the bottom part of the check you're not actually giving that to the to the vendor or the recipient um, this is really it this is really getting into a uh, very detail I like to leave this off it's not really that necessary but if you look if you left it on it would just add the account your expense account um, name and number if you're using numbers on that voucher so leave it on for expense account name and number I'm gonna leave it off this next item here change check date when non cleared check is printed and this is uh, this is useful if you are writing checks in QuickBooks but you won't be printing those checks for another couple of days so if you write a check and you use the date in QuickBooks as uh, say oh I don't know February 1st and you print those checks on February 5th then if you want those checks to be printed on as of the fifth you would want this box checked so change check date when non cleared check is printed so if you're if you're saving checks to be printed and you want the dates to be different you want to check this box uh, I don't like to check this I think that it's sort of foolish if you're gonna write a check in QuickBooks on the date on a, a specific date you also want to have that be printed on your on your physical check so I leave this unchecked okay the next option here start with payee field and this this is uh, if you wanted to um, instead of instead of choosing the bank account first you could start with the payee field so if I click OK and uh, I'm gonna get out of my check window I'm gonna hit no see there my cursor started in pay to the order of instead of my bank account and if you hit tab you won't have the you won't have the option of changing your check number or the date by using tab you have to use shift tab to get up there see that so it's really up to you if you want to start with pay to the order of you just want to write checks quick and you, you want to start with your vendor you can you can select that I don't like to select that because I like to go through my check number and my date just as a, a check on myself a double check so 
um, I leave that unchecked. Warn about duplicate check numbers. You certainly want this one checked. If you've gotten this error before, it's because your check number is one that you've already written. And QuickBooks says, hey, you've already written a check. You can't, you can't write a check with the same number again. Um, unless you've got so much history that you've gone through a, a bunch of different checking checkbooks where you've you've back to the starting point I would leave this checked this is just a good another way to prevent you from making an error the next one autofill payee account number and check memo this is a good one to to check and um, if you've got in your vendor if your vendor has an account number associated with it then that account number will be populated in your check memo and let me show you what I mean so for Gary's landscaping if I type that up um, hmm. let's see Gary's landscaping okay so I didn't have it in there I thought I did let me back up a little bit so I went to my vendor center and then Gary's landscaping is a vendor and I'm gonna uh, edit Gary's landscaping and I'm gonna go over here to payment settings and see here there's an account number box If I type in my account number which is 32 and click OK I'm gonna get out of here this is a sorry a little bit of a diversion here I thought I was set up for this okay so Gary's landscaping if I pay to the order of Gary's landscaping I'm gonna hit tab boom right away that account number I just put into him as a or Gary as a as a vendor comes here in my memo section so 32 is what I just entered in my vendor center so if I go back to vendor center I'll show you that again if you're in vendor center and you've got a vendor here you can edit their information and you go under the uh, payment settings tab on the left hand side and you'll see on the top the top field there will be account number and I've entered 32 I could actually enter this as ACCT pound sign 32 I can put whatever I want in there I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna escape to exit the vendor center and go back to the check hit no open this up again to refresh Gary's landscaping look at that I just entered account number 32 and that's populating in that memo section so go back to preferences checking company preferences autofill payee account number and check memo is a great option to have checked this will save you some some time especially if you're printing checks and you want to have that account number it's useful for utility bills they always usually request that you have your account number on on your memo in your check so a good one to have checked uh, default accounts to use these are kinda like my preferences but these are company-wide so if you had more than one user these would be the default for the the whole program across multiple users create paychecks and pay payroll liabilities pretty simple if you had a special checking account you used for uh, creating paychecks you would want to designate that with um, a default account and if you had a special account that you used for payroll liabilities so if you had a, a checking account for payroll liabilities or if you had a payroll account you could use that as well I don't use payroll so I'm gonna leave these unchecked and um, again just default accounts to use when you're writing a new check okay uh, the the next section here is online banking for most of us we're just gonna leave this alone side-by-side -side mode is much better than register mode so just stay with side-by-side -side mode okay um, the only other option we can change is up here in accounting in the accounting category I'm back on the left hand side here the left pane and um, what this does is if you're uh, if you've gotten a uh, pop-up window that says item has not been assigned to class and you don't know what that is <laughs> then you can just turn off class tracking or better yet you can turn off this prompt to assign classes if you're not using classes in QuickBooks or you don't know what that is just go ahead and uncheck these two boxes okay that will save you a lot of a lot of headache and, and wondering what what is exactly a class I've got another video on classes which I'll link to in the description which classes are very powerful I do recommend using them but you don't have to so if you're not using classes leave this un unchecked if you are using classes 
I recommend that you leave prompt to assign classes checked because this will remind you to enter in a class for each transaction. So that's about it. That's about all we can do with the check writing preferences. I'm going to hit OK to get out of here and I'm going to hit escape to go back to my normal window and I don't want to save that check because it was just an example. Hit the thumbs up if this was useful. Subscribe for more videos. Leave me a comment with a question in the comment section or uh, email me with a question and I'll do my best to answer it with the video. That's it for today guys. See you later.